Sometimes you come across a product you never thought you'd need, but when you use it, you suddenly realize it's invaluable. And this little adapter too from Speedy Bee is one of those products. It's basically a Wi-Fi dongle that you plug into any Betaflight, Emu flight or iNav flight controller. So you can use the Speedy Bee app to set up the flight controller software over the air. So there's no more digging around in your flight bag for an O2G adapter and a long USB cable. You just plug this into your quad, start the app and you're good to go. Hello and welcome to the Worldly Black channel. This neat little box is basically a Wi-Fi adapter and it comes with a handy USB cable. This top connector here isn't actually connected to anything, it's just a nice convenient place to plug this into when you're not using it. So what you do is you plug this end into your flight controller and then you use your flight battery in this XT60 connector to power the little adapter up. If you're using a battery with an XT30, then it's easy enough to use an XT30 to XT60 adapter like this. I made loads of these a while ago and I just leave them in my flight bag. They're just very useful. This has also got a PH2 connector, so you can use a 1S LiPo to power this as well. And that means you can power this from 1S to 6S, so no one's going to be left out. So, how do you use this? Well, it's actually incredibly easy. So, if you plug this into a power source, so that's uh, 4S that we've got there. On the side here you can see, hopefully, there's a little red LED that's solid at the moment. That simply means we've got power applied. And what we need to do is plug this into a quad. Okay, now the LED has started flashing, that means it's plugged into the quads, it's got power on it, but we don't have a Wi-Fi connection. So if you go into your settings on your Android phone, hopefully when it's scanned, there we go, it's got the SPA adapter too, and then there'll be a different serial number for yours. You just connect to that. That's gone green, which means there is a connection, and we can see that's connected. Now, all you have to do is go back to your Speedy B app, and click to start scanning, so I hit the Wi-Fi button. It's actually found it there, which is good. Confirm. <laughs> there we go. It really is incredibly simple. So you can see, that's connected. You've got no wires between this and the quad, which is great. And let's have a look down here. We've got everything we need as normal. So that's configuration, power and battery, file safe, all your PIDs and so on. So that's it really. I'm not sure there's too much more to say about this other than this is incredibly useful and not just when you're out in the field but on the bench as well I've used this quite a few times now there's a few things you need to be aware of though the speedy b app is android only at the moment and I've no idea if runcam intend to release an ios version now the labeling on this just let me show you and plug that it's confusing. Well, it's confusing for my tiny brain anyway. Let me show you what I mean. As usual, when I got this, I didn't read the instructions and I just dived in. And I wrongly assumed that 2FC meant plug this end, that into the flight controller. Hmm. Well, what it actually means is unplug this and plug that into the flight controller. It's sort of obvious when you know about it. This top connector isn't connected to anything, it's just a nice convenient place to plug this into so you don't lose it. The app and the adapter supports Betaflight, iNav and Emu flight configurators, which is great, but at the moment 
flight control of firmware flashing is only supported for beta flight and emu flight. I think that's probably a limitation of the app more than anything else. And although I haven't done a comparison, when I flashed this quad with beta flight 4.2 using this combination, it was very quick. I was actually pretty suspicious it hadn't worked and was lying to me because it was so much faster than usual, but it just worked fine. Uh, the price on this, it's a very reasonable $27 or around £20. And you can order this with a micro USB to USB-C adapter if your flight controller is using a USB connector on this end. And in terms of construction, it's really nice. At first I thought this was an injection molded case, but it's in fact some sort of quite unusual hard heat shrink. Heat shrink shrink? heat shrink if I could even say it. It's just really very nice. As usual I'll leave links to everything in the description so you can check out the latest prices, the downloads for the app and all that sort of thing. And I never fail to be impressed when a product does everything you need and nothing that you don't. And this is so neatly put together. When you're out in the field or even at home and need to change the flight controller setup it's just so convenient to just use this and the Speedy B app. As always, thanks for watching, and if you found that useful, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. And if you want to see more like this, remember to subscribe and hit the bell to get notified when I post new content. I'll see you next time.